So today I wanted to look at one of my favorite techniques for going kind of glitchy. Uh, you can do this in a DAW if you want, but uh, as you may know, I'm obsessed with Eurorack. So uh, here's a fun little patch that you're hearing. We've got a beat. Uh, just a kick and a snare on this Two of Cups module. Tiniest bit of probability over some of the drum hits happening or not. Then we've also got this Basil Pizza oscillator. Just going kind of nuts. I'm sending it some envelopes from the Delta V over here. But that's going through a VCA, which is being opened and closed, uh, kind of at random, but on rhythm by this Tain module. Meaning sometimes those looping envelopes are going through and creating those laser noises, and if not, uh, the pitch just stays at one frequency. Then I got a bunch of random modulation going to it just to keep the timbre always shifting. So those are the sounds that are happening in this patch, but uh, the technique I want to talk about is jumping between different effects, and I'm sending actually both the oscillator and the drums to the same effects at the same time. I've got this Elysium Matrix 2. This is a switch module. Uh, I love switches because they just allow really quick changes to happen in patches, even though it looks like a mess right here. Uh, the routing is actually pretty simple. The oscillator and the drums are both being mixed over here and sent to the matrix. And depending on what preset I have selected, it is routing that sound to four different effects. Slot number one is Ghost, the module I recently released with Endorphins. Slot number two is uh, Endorphins Milky Way. Slot number three is the Desmodus Versio from Noise Engineering. And number four is the Qubit Nautilus. So um, interestingly, all of these effects are time-based effects. They're like delays and reverbs, but each one has its own very unique flavor. And so jumping between them rhythmically uh, is really fun, leads to a lot of different kinds of sounds. And of course, I'm also heavily modulating a lot of their parameters. The modulation is all pretty random, but I have dialed in the ranges so that we're in the territory that I wanna be in. And then just as kind of a safeguard, uh, all of the affected sound is going to this Cosmotronic Messer compressor, you know, just evening out the volume a bit. And once we have that, that is being mixed with the dry drums. So here's just the affected signal. You can see this preset is changing. Um, I have it set up rhythmically. It's about every quarter note, but sometimes it'll skip a quarter note. Actually, let's hear just the drums being affected. And let's hear just the uh, oscillator being affected, just the pizza being affected. So it's very fun, glitchy effects, and I kind of like that on its own as a patch, but um, to use it in um, what some would consider a more musical context, having the beat in there uh, gives your ear more to follow along to, and it becomes kind of a more typical piece of music. It's the beginnings of some type of electronic track, I guess. One other thing that I'll note that's happening here is that all of the affected signal is uh, going through the Basil Ickery. This is a really great sounding stereo filter. Uh, it needed to be a stereo filter because all of the effects I'm using are in stereo. And I have uh, the other side of the Delta over here doing this slow rising envelope going to the cutoff of the filter just to add some element of repeatability to these glitches. Um, and what it's doing is over the course of a bar, raising the filter cutoff. So we have this sense of swelling or growth that happens very rhythmically. And if I take away that modulation and uh, put this filter at neutral, you'll hear that, I mean, it still sounds cool, but it's a bit more chaotic. So having this filter in play just creates something more of a pattern.
make it more extreme by turning the filter all the way to the bottom. Kind of cool, we get these really unique riser type effects every single bar that goes around. So if you wanted to do this in your DAW, it would just be a whole bunch of automation, basically, uh, automating effects to turn on and off, as well as, of course, modulating a lot of the parameters of them. I'm modulating just about everything possible, you know, the tone, the delay time especially is a big one reverb amount. But it's really fun to experiment with this with any type of effect. And uh, one bonus with um, working in a DAW is that you can automate the effects to turn on and off um, without having to just completely change from one effect to another. You could have a couple in a row. If you have your effects arranged in series, you can turn them on and off in different combinations and that will lead to even more variety in sound. So yeah, just a quickish little tip. Hope you found that helpful. This is something I've been doing for years in a lot of my uh, glitchier music, you know, you can take a couple of basic sound sources and really transform them into a lot of extra fun ear candy that uh, can be in the background or maybe even the foreground of a fun track. See you next time.